Hello, Hornet. Welcome to Sac State's review of the parent household size and number in college form. This review will help you understand how to properly complete the form and submit it to the financial aid office to ensure timely awarding of your financial aid. If you are a dependent student and have been selected for the verification process, then you might need to submit the parent household size and number in college form. Let's review the steps. Step 1. Complete your name and Sac State ID on the upper right-hand side of the form. Step 2. Fill the top table with you, the student, and your parent. Include biological parent and or step-parent. Make sure for each household member to state full name, age, and relationship to you, the student. Step 3. List your parents' other children if they meet the following. Your parent will provide more than half of their support between July 1, 2022 and June 30, 2023, or the children are required to provide your parents' information if they were to file the financial aid application. Include children who meet these standards even if they do not currently live with your parents. You can also list any other individuals in your parents' household if they live with your parents and your parents provide more than half of their support right now and will continue continue to between July 1st, 2022 through June 30th, 2023. For each individual listed in this table, make sure to list if they will be attending college anytime between July 1st, 2022 and June 30th, 2023. If so, indicate if they will be enrolled at least half time. If the individual is not going to be enrolled in a college, you can list NA for not applicable. Step 4. Provide dated signatures from both the student and parent at the bottom of the form. Only one parent signature is needed. It is important that it's handwritten signatures. Typed signatures will not be accepted. When you are ready, you can upload a copy of your parent household size and number in college form through your student center. Under the financial aid link section, click upload docs here. Select the file extension and complete steps 1 through 3. Please note, if you are a Mac user, the upload page is not compatible with Safari. Try Firefox or Google Chrome. Be sure to submit only the documents that are requested. Avoid submitting unnecessary documentation as additional investigation may be required to determine your eligibility, which may delay the determination of your financial aid awards. And that's it! You got this, Hornet Stingers up! 